Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting to this thing. Mm. There you go. No, don't hit the button. Because it's like, as a matter of fact, <laughs> unplug all that. Yeah, you hit that button for the spoiler when you're going down the highway and the whole bumper comes off. Now we're gonna do a body kit on a Porsche. I think you guys are really gonna like it. This, this is our buddy, Eli. Welcome, Eli. How are you? Vlog. So this is the camera you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Muscle Rod Shop Vlog today. Uh, we'll be working on this Porsche that looks like a rally car because I didn't adjust the suspension at all. Uh, <laughs> I like it. It looks good, it looks right? It looks really good. Yeah, just keep it nice and high. I like how you're like digging your tire right in the concrete there. I'll move, I'll move that. Look, I'll, look. I'll, I'll move that. What? Look. Man, I think that actually. Uh, that, well, you know what? I'll move it. Real quick. You don't even really need those tires, anyways. We're changing them. Coming off. Yeah, you don't need those, man. But we'll move it just. <laughs> so we're gonna end up putting um, the the rocket money kit on this car. That's. We have to cut it. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting to this thing. Mm. Uh, and then we're going to drill some holes and cut out this whole quarter. You know, just the normal stuff we do to old cars. Yeah, but I'm a new one. This should be just fine, dude. <laughs> all right, so right now we're gonna get this thing inside and prep it, right? Yes, I'm so excited for this. And, and get it going. How, how often have I been bugging you about this? Uh, just a couple days, don't worry. Yeah, about it. <laughs> one or two times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all good, just a little bit. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready? It would have taken us like 35 forward and backs to, to get, get into this anyone, spot right here. Say, this the fastest anyone has ever <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's <Awesome>. perfect. <laughs> Never seen anybody pulling that fast. Hey. hey. It's gonna get chopped up now. Hey, you're not starting that dumb German car until my American muscle's done, right? What, that thing back there? The thing in the corner. <laughs> the thing we yeah. in the corner. Sitting all by itself alone. <laughs> so sad. Pushed back. That is what What's up, man? Not much. You just popped up out of nowhere. I knew that Eli was going to be here. The, are you going on a mullet? No, the mullet just overtook <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I was like, hold up, right? <laughs> it, it, it's just kind of happening right now. That, that's All beautiful, man. That's beautiful. <laughs> I actually tried to not grow it. It just comes out. You know, it's natural. Very natural. Mm -hmm. If you have a car like that, you can't not have a mullet. Yeah. Hey, Wake up with What's that. Up? Mullet. <laughs> I decided to opt out mullet thing. So. Did you bail on the mullet? Yeah, I bailed. He's not American enough. He's not American. not American enough. So now we're gonna go pick up all the parts, uh, wheels, and entire body kit. We already have this one piece here. So this is the front bumper and the front fenders. They were just damaged a little bit in shipping. Thank God the shipping company read the instructions of don't top load or do not use a forklift. Yes. And use both. <laughs> and absolutely destroyed it. Destroyed it. But they're fixed now and they're ready to go. And now we're going to go grab the wheels and tires and the rest of the stuff and get on it. Okay? Good. So what we're going to be doing with this is he's got a, uh, a Rocket Bunny kit. What what kit is it? Again? Yes, it's Rocket Bunny. Hand, 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 rocket. We'll just go with Rocket Bunny. Uh, Kira Kosai. Is the original developer of, of the wide body kits for the Porsches, the RWBs, and uh, Gretti started creating them and making them. There's still one off, so they take four months to come in stateside, but it, it's that super nice wide body. Yeah, massive, extremely wide. So it's made to take these fat, fat tires. They are just extremely enormous, and they're really good looking rim too. Nice concave wheel and 
a front to match, obviously. So um, here's the process on this, and I'm gonna run you through it really quick, and then we're gonna do um, we're gonna do a full time lapse of this whole thing. So first things first is we're going to remove the bumper, headlights, rear bumper, uh, maybe something on the rocker panel. I know there's little caps down here that's got to come off. Then we'll end up putting these fenders up on the quarter panel, basically taping them in place and taping the rocker, taping the front fender and bolting the bumper on. And uh, then we're gonna go and self tap screw into the quarter panel. That's kind of the, the part that's cringing. But you can see these little notches. That's where the screws go once the quarter is in place on the car. All right, and then so once that comes off, then all we're gonna have left is holes where the screws go. We're gonna riv nut all those, which is you drill a hole, you put um, an insert in it, a thread insert, and squeeze it, it squishes to the quarter panel metal, and then you have a place to bolt your piece on. How much do you cut out of this? Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention, the part <laughs> where you gotta cut out. <laughs> on a quarter panel and too. On a quarter panel, <laughs> and the front fender. The front fender's yeah. gotta be cut. So once that quarter panel's sitting on there, you'll be able to see how far up you gotta cut. I think, it, you see that line right there, Eli? Yeah. That line right there, it's gonna be a couple inches above that. So it's just as long as it's not above the, the bolts. <laughs> We're good. Then I think we're good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only problem with the back is the back has um, a wheel well that's welded to the, co the, uh, the quarter panel itself. The front does not have that. Mm -hmm. So there, there's gonna be some welding back here on your car. You okay with that? I mean, are you gonna do a good job? I will try my best. <laughs> Perfect, I like it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so Eli's taking the lights off this this car. Um, it's kind of crazy how these things come off. I mean, we're used to American cars, but so it comes with that tool. Let me get on this side of you. Yeah. So there's a slot with a rubber thing, and this Porsche gives you this tool kit. And this is how you can oh, disassemble wow. your stuff. Yeah, if you need to take your light out on the side of the highway, yeah. you just open it up, take that out. And then, just, so I just rotate it, and then... That's crazy, it just pops up. And it's done. And pops out. So this tool here, you rotate this tool, and it turns this little thing here. And it, when you turn it, it kicks it back into the plug. Huh. No bolts, nothing. <laughs> that is the craziest thing ever. Yeah, we need to get ahead of the game. <laughs> Apparently, I mean, <laughs> yeah. that ain't too shabby for a... That's really not. That's a really good idea. That's very, uh, very cool. Oh, it looks really good without headlights. Yeah, safe. You know what? You need to get some, the, the black headlights, the ones that are black on the inside. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, instead of being chrome on the inside, it's yeah, all... Yeah, it's all blacked out. It's like that black chrome. Yeah, and then you only have one little HID or LED. Mm-hmm. Considering this car is being wrapped with this body kit in black, right? Yep, matte black. Matte black? That would look dope. Oh, yeah, that would look good. So this is where we're sitting right now. We got the front bumper on, front splitter. The splitter's on down there. The fenders are on temporarily. You can see uh, tape, you know, holding together. The rocker is on, looking really good. 
This is a really cool kit, actually. I like it a lot. Uh, so what we're gonna do, like I said, you know, we're gonna drill some holes here, and that's gonna tell us where our rib nuts, or thread cert, whatever you wanna call them, go. And then since we have our fender in place exactly where it's gonna go, everything looks good down here, everything there looks great. So we're going to tape line right on the edge of this all the way around then pull this fender off after we got our holes drilled, then come back from our tape line about an inch, maybe more, maybe an inch and a half. It just depends on where that bolt's gonna sit. And um, mark again, all the way around, an inch and a half or so, all the way around from that edge. And then that's where we're gonna cut the fender. We're gonna cut all this extra metal off. That's gonna go away for good. And you can see on this one, look at those really nice coilovers. Eli, good choice on the coilovers, man. Oh, yeah. those coilovers are. Oh, they're bad. They were not fun to put in. Oh, I bet. Well, this is going smooth. Those did not go smooth. Yeah, I, man. <laughs> that was two days of work for the front rear. Just this part right here looks really nice, how this thing sits inside. Does it sit inside a, a hole? Yeah, so they have, it's just, um, they literally hold down right here. This one bolts into the back. The rears actually do sit in a coupling. That's then, crazy. Yeah, these look really good. Yeah. I love the gold. We got compression and rebound, so we can adjust both for the racing coilovers. And so you'll be able to see the uh, the coilover through the wheels, right? Yes. Oh, man. that Yeah, that gold on that bronze. So we got factory bumper here. That's factory and crazy aftermarket stuff. That splitter acts. Yeah. It adds so much. <laughs> so bad. Oh yeah, that's where the forklift got it when they were doing packaging. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. Thanks oh, hey, much. you know what? Another thing we were, we were uh, looking at the other day is you got a tow hook spot on here? Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Well, with that mount right into that position. Yeah, but the, on the factory bumper, it's on the passenger side. Oh, weird. Huh. I don't know why they did that. So, uh, yeah, in the back, though, what I was saying is, you know, there's nothing in there, right? So there's no wheel well up inside here to have to deal with at all. So you just cut the fender, and the fender's just a lot taller now on the factory one, and no wheel well. But in the back, you have the quarter panel and you have a wheel well. So when we cut this, you're gonna, like, we're gonna cut this and then this is gonna come off and there's gonna be another piece of metal inside of there that has to kind of like bend up and flip over and weld to the quarter, <laughs> weld to the quarter panel. Yeah. So Eli's taking the spoiler off baby wing <laughs> jeez so, yeah. oh wow yeah you actually have to take the cap off then take the bolts out remove that then uh the rear bumper slides then we'll remove the unit because it's we have a ducktail on that one so this unit's worthless now oh yeah so oh yeah so you just unhook it so what does the car think about that i mean so when you when you unhook it and you're going you know 200 miles an hour that's what i don't know like if it trips it because that's i have to hit a button in order to engage this oh you have to do it yeah so it's not automatic yeah okay cool yeah that shouldn't be a problem so then it's just probably a disconnect it might flat but i don't even know i think if it's just disconnected it's just gonna right not even throw up a code or anything well i said we just go at it and see what happens Bumper is now off. Yeah. Goodbye. And this is this was the spoiler here, but I, th I think we're just gonna leave that. Yeah. Shouldn't be in the way. I just cannot hit that button. No, don't hit the button. Because it's like. As a matter of fact, <laughs> unplug all that. <laughs> if there's a way to. <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, you hit that button for the spoiler when you're going down the highway, <laughs> and the whole bumper comes off. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to look at that disconnect. Yeah, you're gonna need. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right guys, so that is it for day one. Eli and I are done for the day. 
we're gonna head out. So just to go over what is happening here, we're gonna have to remove that rear bumper section and do something with this uh, wheel well to get to clear the inside of this section here. Now, this bolt hole and that one there, so for example, this one goes here and then this bolt goes there. So those two spots. And um, it doesn't really work with all this crap in here. So a lot of stuff's gonna have to be cut out to make it work. But tomorrow when we get here, we're gonna put it back on and then we're gonna put the fender on and that's it. We're gonna start drilling some holes and cutting out the, the wheel well here. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> We did end up having to take the uh, the spoiler mechanism out and all that kind of stuff too, but it's not really a big deal, you know. And we kind of jankified how to make it work. I mean, we made a professional job, so it, it works 100%. Y yes, yes it does. <laughs> With electrical tape. <laughs> but that's fine, no problem. So, we'll be back tomorrow.